When you attain something valuable, your life is consumed by it for a while. You talk about it, you show it off, and you guide conversations in that direction. Because it has added value to your life, it becomes the center of your attention. In the same way, when you accept Jesus Christ, He becomes the most valuable treasure and the focus of your attention. Paul writes in Colossians 3 the following, So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Therefore, put to death what belongs to your earthly nature, the things that you once walked in. And now you have put off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self. You are being renewed in knowledge according to the image of your Creator. Paul teaches here that we have a new identity, and therefore we should put off the old self and the old way of doing things. This putting away of the old self means that there are certain things in your life that no longer fit your identity as a child of God. Be done with the old. Put it off. We turn away from that old way and old self and turn towards something different, something new. We embrace our new self, made new in Christ. We lean into who Jesus is and what he did for us on the cross. Turning to Christ is not just turning into new life, but turning to the very source of life. Jesus himself said in John 14, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. In him, we find the true meaning of life and have a meaningful life. So we turn into this new life, putting on the new self. But in the process of putting on this new self, we also need to renew our thinking. Our thinking should be transformed to align with God's thinking. And consequently, we are transformed according to the image of Jesus. The word of God is fundamental to our faith and shapes the way we think. The word of God is full of truths which we can grab hold of and plant into our lives as we replace any liars in our lives with the truth. Discovering God's truth empowers us to live this new life and have abundant life in every respect. Jesus has not left us alone, but he has sent the Holy Spirit who guides us into all truth. He makes the word come alive and works within us to shape our lives along the lines of Jesus Christ. In turning to this new life, it is also important to get the right people around you. Surround yourself with friends who love God and have a passion for His Word and works. The more you surround yourself with other believers, the faster you will grow in the revelation of who you are in Him. It's also important to be open to people you trust. If you identify areas that need to change, you have to stay accountable to someone. The devil loves to isolate us, making us feel as if we're on our own, feeling rejected, or even thinking we're the only ones that are battling with certain things. When we let people in, we give them the opportunity to speak God's truth over our lives. And this is such an important facet of growing in this newness of life. It's also beneficial to establish healthy spiritual rhythms and healthy, regular church involvement. Once we have turned to God, we still often make mistakes. But you have to understand that your mistakes no longer define you. 1 John 1.9 1, says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. You will make mistakes, but give yourself grace and forgive yourself like God forgives you. Never dwell on your mistakes or make it your dwelling place. Christ is your home, your place of healing. May you understand that in Jesus, you are blessed, blessed with every spiritual blessing. You are God's child and he accepts and receives you. His biggest desire is to reveal to you your true identity and have fellowship with you. Galatians 4, 7, therefore you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir through God. 
Once you turn to new life, your life is hidden in Christ. You are a child of God and His heir. Put off the old self and put on the new self, embracing this new identity. Won't you take some time now to discuss the group discussion notes?